Hello, face booze. How are you guys doing today? I don't know if you can see me. It's a lot of sun out here, but uh, first of all, I hope this video or whatever finds all of you, anybody who's listening, um, in good spirits, doing well, you know, on their grind, doing what it do. Walking in their own path and in their own destiny, not coveting anybody else's um, path or destiny. Everybody is not ordained or birthed to do the same thing the same way. We all are different. Hey, Otis. Hey, Daryl Frazier. How you guys doing? You know, I had to get up on here, and I don't usually mm, be bothered with certain things because I try to keep it positive. But um, somebody sent me an article. And I don't know if they were throwing shade, child, I don't know. Hey, Chris. Um, and it was saying how black women who are with white men are more humble, quiet, submissive, nurturing, blah, 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 than black women who aren't with black men. And they were also saying that um, as another gentleman <laughs> was saying that he'd rather deal with any other race um, except a black woman and child, he was black as night. Okay, you say self hate, you know. And I, I had to really, really deal with that because I didn't burn my bra in the movement. I want to be submissive. I want a man. I said a man, not breath, britches, barf bag, none of that foolishness. You know, I, I want a king. A black king to be submissive to. Shoot. Are you serious? Who doesn't? You know, I want to be able to cook. And ain't no better crock up in here. Sister can cook. I want a man to cook for. You know what I'm saying? Not like I ain't, I'm not I'm not on here begging for a man. I'm making a point. Just walk with me. Walk with me. I'm driving it home. I'm gonna drive it home. <laughs> you know, I will love. You know, I have find I have no problem with and a lot of women that I know don't have a problem with when that man walks through the door. Mm, mm, mm. Child, I don't care if you're coming from the office or you coming from uh, a construction site. I don't care if you're coming from the, 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 the trash truck from dumping somebody else's trash. You know, I think a woman should, child, have his bath water ready. Men like bubbles too. Yes, babies, you like bubbles. Yes, you do. You ain't got to tell nobody. Shh. Y'all like bubbles and you like candles, but I don't see what's wrong with having his bath ready, his dinner already ready, home cooked meal ready. You know what I'm saying? Not microwave macaroni and cheese, a real meal ready. I don't see nothing wrong with having his favorite chair or wherever he likes to sit and whatever else, you know, and after he take his bath, rubbing his shoulder, huh? Rubbing his feet, anything else he wants to be rubbed. Hello? If he like his bumps popped on his back, pump his bumps. That's your man. I don't see nothing wrong with that. And guess what, beloveds? A lot of us still do that. You know, but to see, here's the kicker and the trick. I'm not going to be submissive and, 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 and humble and all that to somebody crazy. I'm not going to let nobody lead me off a cliff, me, my kids, and everything else off a cliff. Come on now. I just think it's so unfair. And if we're the... Now, I can stand to be correct. I'm pretty sure all y'all would, especially the hating hoes. Oops, I mean, the women who's been coming after me lately. That slips. Excuse me, beloveds. Try to keep it positive. Try to keep it positive. You know, but I, I think it's... I, I can feel safe to say that as a race of women, we have been through the ringer. I'm not saying no other race haven't. I can identify with nobody else. I'm black. I can't identify with anything else. But because of our strength and our tenacity and our ability to endure and have long suffering and to, in spite of all the hurt, you know, and disrespect and dishonor and abuse from our people, from the world, from every, in spite of all the crap that shoveled down upon us, we still have the capability to love unconditionally. When we love, we love hard. Yes. I ain't talking about these, you know, of course there's some ratchet women out there, little chicken heads and whatever else. But see, but you get what you get. 
If y'all want them flat stomachs and them tight bodies and all that, you'll get an airhead sometimes. That's you. But a real woman just wants to be loved, just wants to be honored, just wants to be respected. She wants to be on somebody's mind. If he's walking through Walmart and he go, my baby like the color blue. That's a pretty blue blouse. That blouse could be six dollars, dollar on sale, whatever else. It's the thought, beloveds. We just wants to be listened to and spoken to with respect. It's not all about bam, bam, who can suck it, blow it, dig it, eat it. Uh, I mean, everybody can do that or whatever else. It's about love and respect. And I think, you know, it, 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 it's hurtful when I see a black man on TV or they're on the radio or the Internet or in my face or I'm in DMV listening to cats talk or I'm in the barbershop with my son or wherever I'm at. And I'm listening to dudes to me. I'm going to give me a white woman. I'm going to give me a white woman. You know, you want to. What is that? The white woman I know ain't taking half the crap y'all talking about. I don't even know who y'all talking about, you know, but I've, I deal with um, intelligent entrepreneurs. You know, I deal with all types, colors and shades of women, you know, and so I don't know what this foolishness is. I can't speak on it. I don't know what the problem is, but, you know, just stop it, fellas. You kings with, who got good sense, you know, you hear this type of talk going on, you know, defend your queens, man, defend us. We're not all out there hauling and cussing and acting a fool and that Atlanta housewife, something's wife, all them reality shows are not. The real black woman. It's not who we are. It's not the average black woman, man. Stop letting media and social media and all this stuff, you know, brainwash you and your definition of who your queens are, man. That's crazy. You know, and Tyrese and all them people and, and that sort of more guy or whoever else. I mean, they out there bashing women like crazy. When it comes to, I guess, weave and all that stuff. White women was the first ones to wear weave. They need to do their history. Yes. Come on now. It, it, why, when does something you put on your head constitute the character of someone's, uh, you know, abilities and things like that? It's just getting ridiculous. I had to say something because, I know, I'm a good woman. And I've been dealt some crap down through the years. And I, and I still don't say all oh, men this and all oh, men that. And guess what, fellas? I defend you. I've been in an abusive relationship, got beat down, eight months pregnant, kicked in the back, thrown downstairs and everything else. But it was one Neanderthal acting fool who did that. It wasn't all of you. So I, when I hear women go, all oh, men ain't no good, I stop them right dead in their tracks. I should watch it. Cancel that. No, all no men ain't do nothing to you. It was that one crazy nigga or maybe the three. Oops, sorry, ninja. I'm working on it, y'all. I'm working on that. <laughs> you know, but, uh, it, it, you know, I, I, I defend y'all. I defend y'all because I got three black boys. And I'm training them. I trained them at three and four. Open the door for your sister. They sat there and watched me do their sister's hair. Hand me that grease. Hand me that. And I ain't trying to make them gay or nothing like that. I try to let them see what we go through to beautify ourselves for you. You know, uh, you know, I, 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 my boys are very good, respectful men. And I make sure they treat me right. So when they get a woman, they treat that woman right. You hear what I'm saying? You know, I mean, it, it's just sad. You know, I need you fellas to step up when y'all read articles like that. Y'all in the barbershop or y'all chilling at the pool hall, y'all in the club or whatever y'all doing, kicking into your man cave and one of your knuckleheaded friends talking about, I ain't deal with these black women running their mouth, my baby mama this, my baby mama that. Well, y'all have no clue what these other races are going through. They 10 times worse than us. You know, <laughs> you know, but, you know, yes, you have people who do this and do that and do this, but that ain't me. It ain't me. And it ain't probably your mama. It ain't your nana. It ain't your auntie peaches. You know, come on now. I need you fellas to step up and, and, and defend your queens because we're getting a bad rap out of here. People is not even thinking, man, are you serious right now? I was eight months pregnant. Getting my butt whooped. He was with every woman in the neighborhood or in the, in the three tri-cities except me. And I worked two jobs, finished my degree, came home, still cooked that man's meal. He ain't come home to eat it. But I still did what I was supposed to do. I was still humble and I was still submissive until I was able to move out that situation. 
I won't cussing, busting windows out the cars. Uh, when the mistresses will call my house, I'll give them the phone. <laughs> hey, whatever. You can't make nobody love you. And you can't make nobody want you. But you can teach people how to treat you. You know, so I just want to say I love my kings, my warrior. You guys are the best looking men on the planet. Yes, you are. You come in all shapes and sizes and colors. Yes, you do. You're beautiful. And not only are you warriors, you're king's kids. You know, and I will ever defend you. But guess what? Y'all got to return the favor and, and, and defend your queens. Because we're all not crazy up out of here. You know, and I, and I just don't get how we be in the trenches with you broke, busted and disgusted. And as soon as you get a couple of dollars, some six figures or you get, you know, a contract with one of these um, pro professional whatever. Y'all dump us, man. Like we can't come with you. Why? Why we can't come with you? <laughs> I can't even tell you how many men I done brought up and, and made over and assisted and whatever else. And they went on to something else. But I ain't hating. That's them. It's not y'all who I'm talking to because they blocked. So I know it ain't who I'm talking to because I blocked all the crazy folk. <laughs> and y'all ain't did nothing to me. So why I'm going to say all black men ain't bleep or mother effers this and mother effers that. No, I don't disrespect my black men. No, I don't. I'm just asking y'all, look, defend your sisters, man. Defend your queens. We don't deserve it either. We holding it down. And for those of you who have walked away from your, your children because you don't want the mama and all that stuff, that ain't cool. That ain't cool. And you women out there, if they want to come back into them children's lives, you know, they may not have been there for the labor and delivery of the birth and whatever else. You know, let them in them babies' lives. Sons need their daddies. Y'all, you just looking around. Our sons need y'all, man. They trying to... Anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. I want to be, you know, I'm trying to keep it politically correct on here. But y'all know what I'm talking about, man. They got our little boys out here looking all sorts of crazy. They need you. They need you. Yes, they do. Our boys need you. Our girls need you. So they can stop looking for love in all the wrong places. Dropping it, popping it, and sopping it up on people they barely know. Come on, man. I know what. Leslie needs you. Yes, and you guys are awesome. You're phenomenal. Yes, you are. And you're the most, to me, I'm just saying my opinion, you are the most beautiful bunch of people on the planet. Yes, the, the black man, ah, oh, ain't over here, ain't, ain't on here, bitch, trying to be frisky, church people. I'm just speaking the truth. Somebody need to pour positivity up in our men, man. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, you know, I'm going to get up off here. But instead of getting upset and, and going all off, I just put out a plea to our black man. If you encounter... You know, a young buck saying something crazy like I'm going to get my white woman because a black woman's unruly. She loud. She this, she that and she that. You know, correct that brother. Whoever, maybe you need to stop going to the certain circles and getting that type of woman. But all black women are not like that. We're hardworking. We're loving. Yes. And we loyal. And, uh, some song, the kids talk about uh, you know, the, these hoes ain't loyal. But stop going for a hoe. <laughs> You know, y'all want them flat stomachs and this and this and that and that tatted at the tramp stamps. You get what you get. You know what I'm saying? I I I, I just I, and I'm sick of plus size sisters being second class citizens in the gene pool. Now I ain't begging for no man. I don't need to beg for no man. I'm good. But for my other plus size sisters, stop treating them any kind of way, man. Stop treating them like any kind of way. Get out of here. Y'all trying to protect the swag you ain't got. Come on, man. <laughs> Y'all got me here talking like I ain't got good sense, but um, it's all good. I just wanted to say, you know, <sighs> stop the madness, brothers. You know, defend us. We're not all out here crazy. We ain't no the, that housewife stuff. I don't even know what the prop. I'm gonna watch the crap, so I don't know the proper names for this or that. With the, uh, them shows where they got all them women fighting and hollering and cussing or whatever else. You know, I know some sisters who are true friends and deeds to each other. Yes, the sisterhood. Yes. We uplift each other. If one man had paid child support and the other man didn't, the sister who got her man doing right, she'd be packing up food and sharing with the next sister who man ain't doing it right. We over here, you know, doing the village thing on here. They don't show that on TV. How you think we're surviving? The government ain't giving us what they think to give us. They ain't been on welfare and ain't on no food stamps or whatever else. Half the women I know aren't on that stuff. So I don't know what statistic they talking about. But even, you know, we share. 
you know, and if I got to work, you know, a triple shift, a 10 hour shift, my next door neighbor used to look after my kids, man. If I was off and she had to work, I look after hers. That's how the real sisters out here doing it. You know, if Sister Tree know how to do hair and, and Sister So-and-so grow a garden, hey, you do my hair, I'll give you some of my tomatoes. That's how we've been doing it forever. So I don't know where these articles are coming from. I have no idea. But the real queens out here is loving each other, respecting each other, getting it done for her children. And if they got a man, they treating them right. Come on now, y'all need to defend us because I'm defending you. Y'all have a blessed day.